going to do in this video is introduce you to the techniques and instrumentation that we'll be using in our series of labs where we investigate enzyme activity. The enzyme that we are going to investigate uh, is salivary amylase. It's an enzyme in your saliva, in your mouth, that breaks down starch. So what we'll have when we come to lab is samples of saliva that you will supply once you come to lab. It'll be your, your spit. And we will provide you with a solution of 1% starch. Starch is the substrate for amylase. And when amylase comes into contact with starch, it degrades it down to simpler carbohydrates. What we are going to do is we are going to establish a protocol where we can measure how fast that happens and to uh, determine uh, the effects of experimental variables on uh, that rate of reaction. For this we're going to need a spectrophotometer. This is a Spectronic 20D Plus uh, digital spectrophotometer. Uh, you're going to get very familiar with this instrument, give you a little overview of how we get started and what it does. Uh, what we'll do when we come in the lab is you'll start these up and go through a calibration sequence. And uh, on here, what you'll do is you'll turn it on, you'll let it warm up if it has not already, and you're going to follow the directions. It's printed right on the front of the spec, but we'll go through this very quickly. What you need to do with these is you need to set the wavelength. Our wavelength for our experiments would be 620 nanometers. So you use this dial on the top here to set your wavelength reading here at 620. Uh, what you do then is make sure down in the front there's a filter switch uh, for certain uh, ranges of wavelength and you make sure that it's in the 600 to 950 nanometer range. What happens then is uh, we're going to be reading this window here and we'll use this first knob on the left to set 0% uh, transmittance. So I'm just going to turn this until we read 0 on the dial. It, uh, it's pretty sensitive. Might take you a moment. But now I'm reading zero. Once we've done that, now I can set my mode. Uh, the default setting is transmittance. What we are going to measure is absorbance. So if I press the mode button to absorbance, now I get a flashing number. That's just fine. What we need to do at this point is we need to set up what's called a blank for the machine. You're going to have a rack here with a lot of test tubes. I'm going to grab one of these test tubes. And according to your laboratory protocol, you are going to use a pipette and you're going to deposit in here five milliliters of deionized water. These pipettes are 10 milliliter pipettes. They go from 10 at the bottom to zero at the top. And what you want to do, what you want to do is whenever you use these pipettes, if you're going to deliver a certain volume, you always fill to the zero and dispense to your value. So what I'm going to do here is I have a beaker of deionized water. I'm going to use the thumb wheel on the pump, draw up a full 10 milliliters of deionized water, so it's up to the zero, and I will know that I'm accurate when I come over and I deliver down to one two, three, four, five. Put the rest back. Set my pipette in the rack. Now I have five milliliters of deionized water. Uh, you're going to want to do everything that you can in these experiments to make sure that you have accurate volumes. That's why we're being particular about the instruments we use and the methods we use. Uh, the more you work on this to get consistent, uh, the better your results will be. Into this, what we're going to do 
is we're going to deposit 100 microliters of iodine. Now, 100 microliters is a very small volume. We can't use regular pipettes for this. That's only one-tenth of a milliliter. So what we're going to use are micro pipettes. You're going to have a rack of different uh, volume micro pipettes. The blue are 100 microliter. We have boxes here with pipette tips. You take these and you simply jam it down on and you now have a plastic micro pipette tip on. What I'll do is uh, stick the tip down into the iodine, depress the plunger slowly, let it out slowly, and now I have 100 microliters of iodine in my micro pipette. I can then deliver that into my test tube. We have a vortexer here. Put that down on there, and it'll mix it up real nice. Why are we doing this? Well, how are we going to measure the effect of amylase on starch? Because it's not something we can see directly. Well, we're going to take advantage of a uh, peculiar chemical uh, property of starch in that it turns black or very dark blue in the presence of iodine. So we can use that uh, to our advantage with this instrument. What this instrument does is you have a sample chamber in which you put a liquid sample and it measures uh, from a lamp on one side shining through the sample to a detector on the other. It knows how much light leaves the source versus how much light makes it to the detector. So in effect, it's measuring how much light gets absorbed or transmitted by this solution. So if the solution changes color to darker or lighter, we can measure it with this. Uh, so in order to blank this machine, what we need to do is create this, uh, an iodine blank, to represent for our experiments the lightest the solution could possibly get. This is a solution with just iodine and water. It'll never get any lighter than this. So what we are going to do is we are going to tell this instrument that this represents zero. This represents our baseline. Now, in order to do this, uh, these instruments use a special test tube called a cuvette. And there will be cuvettes at your station. And you mix things in test tubes and then you pour them into the cuvettes. Once you've done this, what you want to do is grab a Kim wipe, these, and you want to clean the glass. And you want to make sure that you do not grab these cuvettes with your fingers below the white dot. Because what happens is the oils and greases and such on your fingers get on the glass and interfere with the light going through the instrument. There's also a white line on the front of the cuvette that lines up with a score mark on the sample chamber. The line and the score mark line up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, stick it down in the sample chamber with a score mark and the line lined up, close the lid, and now my absorbance changes. And uh, what you want to do is you want to use this right knob and you're going to turn it to set the absorbance to zero. So now I have set the absorbance. It's really sensitive. I've set the absorbance to zero with a blank that has water and iodine. Once you've done this, your instrument is set up and ready to go. Then what we'll do is we'll take a look at our protocol and see how we're going to investigate this process.